what's up you guys this is Phoenix welcome back to Rise Again Vintage this is an IGTV exclusive just want to show you guys kind of what I've picked up over the past couple months since I've been away uh, man lots of vinyl and I got to show you guys some t-shirts that I'm going to be stashing away for a bit uh, here in this video so without further ado let's get into it all right before we get started you know one pickup I did have um, I, I do want to say shout out to the homie Corey from Cold Wave sent me this t-shirt all the way from Perth Australia man shout out to him just says cold wave across the chest. He sent me another one as well. I'll have to show off another time. Um, but man, nothing much love. He's been in you know our vintage battle. He's shown off his collection. Just a really good guy. It's cool to build relationships with people that you know. Like I'm from Iowa, and you know he's over for, uh, you know over in Perth, and it's just cool, man. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he hit me up, and he was like, "Yo, what size are you?" Told him the size. He sent it this way, man. Uh, man, shout out to him. I really appreciate it. I've been rocking them all summer. You guys go get yours. Um, I'll link the you know their website down below in the description. Uh, they got a bunch of vintage as well, uh, but definitely they got some store merch that is fire. So go check them out. All right, you guys. So get into the music pickups. You know we got a lot of vinyl, um, a couple CDs even. So you know let's get into it. Starting with can't go wrong. Frank Ocean's Channel Orange, dude, a classic album. Uh, it came out I want to say like 2012. I'm a big Frank Ocean fan. I've uh, been listening to his music for a long time and you don't see his uh, your physical copies of his music too often. I don't even think there's a, a legit copy of a vinyl for Channel Orange. They only have a Black Friday version of Blonde and that's like, I swear, like two grand right now so it's definitely hard to, to find those. So I got this actually at Barnes & Noble. So just, just saying, you know, if you guys are, you know, have a Barnes & Noble in your area and you're a you know, big Frank Ocean fan, go check. They might have the CD still there. Uh, for Channel Orange, but you know, I can't go wrong, man. It's a beautiful album. I'm really into his music, so I couldn't go wrong right there. And then up next, I like, <laughs> uh, as you guys could see, I'm a big Kanye fan, and you're about to see that. Um, his music, you know, I, do I miss the old Kanye a little bit? I mean, some of these tracks are, you know, amazing from his old stuff, but he also still makes great music. Um, Jesus is King. Hey man, for for uh, for a kind of take of what he was trying to do, I think it was a solid album. Um, I, I haven't listened to it that much. If you want to get like a full review, I can do that sometime. But uh, getting into my Kanye collection of what I got in the past month. First of all, we got College Dropout on CD. Can't go wrong. Shout out to JC and the Hobby for this one. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, what else we got? We got Graduation, the Murakami cover. This also comes with a poster too. Now, if it wasn't so folded, I would probably hang it up, but you know, it's all good. We'll, uh, you know, kind of leave it there and everything. But man, great track on there. Great, you know, amazing quality of music, you know, between those two albums, can't go wrong. And uh, so I got the, the CD version of College Dropout. So, you know, I guess I had to get the vinyl, you know. So we got the College Dropout vinyl. This is an original press from 04. Again, shout out to JC and Hobby for this. Um, if you guys are local, man, go check out JC and Hobby. Not only for music, they, you know, if you guys are, I know cards are big right now, they have, you know, different packs of cards. Uh, man, what else? Movies, video games, anything that you can think of, JC and Hobby has. They got three locations in Des Moines. Um, definitely been, you know, a source of my, you know, pickups for music. Anything that I'm kind of into, they always have. So that's my quick little plug for Jay's. Go check them out. Definitely great people. And speaking of Jay's, these next two I got from Jay's as well. Uh, we got another Kanye album. It's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Uh, man, you can't go wrong with this. I, it's a thick vinyl. I gotta tell you that. I think it's like a, a double LP. So um, again, a beautiful album. Uh, you can't go wrong with Kanye, I feel like, in music. And to hear it on vinyl for the first time is definitely really sick. And uh, another Kanye album, we got Ye. Can't go wrong. I feel like this is a very slept on album, you know, from Kanye. Ghost Town, I've been listening to that a lot lately. Violent Crimes, um, I mean, something about Kanye, like he just knows how to, I mean, obviously the production and his music is amazing, but uh, I feel like there's never really been like a bad, bad Kanye album. So I had to get most of them on vinyl. I'm still looking for some more. Looking for graduation on vinyl. If you guys have it, hit me up, uh, cause I cannot find it. Hit me up with links, anything like that for sure. Um, now coming up, this was a little birthday pickup, uh, you know, for myself. So we've got Nas's Illmatic. This is a repress. You guys are not going to find the original press in the Illmatic. It's really hard and really expensive. So this is kind of my placeholder until I get the original press. One of my favorite albums of all time. You can't go wrong. 
Um, man, Nas is like top five uh, rappers for me, so I had to get it. I was surprised I didn't have it in my collection actually um, until now, so definitely shout out. Uh, I think I got that at Jay's too, man. A lot of these pickups are from Jay's. Um, now up next, you know, a lot of my music tastes kind of changes from like my mood. So like I'm into, you know, obviously rap, old school rap, um, new age rap, if you want to say. And then I'm also into like R&B and soul or what you kind of consider R&B now. So I got this from the homies over at Vinyl Cup Records. Uh, they had a, I got a birthday coupon and it was 15% uh, off. So I had to grab this. This is Thundercats. It is what it is. The thing I love about this album, not only do I love Thundercat, if you guys haven't listened to him, go check it out, but this press is crazy. Like, the cream? Like, bro, come on, man. Like, this is crazy. Like, I don't know why. I'm a sucker for, like, these new, like, vinyls and, like, the way that they color them and everything. Like, you can't go wrong. Um, Thundercat's music is amazing. A lot of great features on this. You got Childish Gambino. Uh, you got, I think, Lil B's on there, too, man. So shout out to my bass gods and everything. Um, man, you just can't go wrong. Thundercat, go check it out. It is what it is. Uh, go check it out on Apple Music and everything. But that cream, that cream press, bro, like you can't, you can't go wrong with that. Um, up next, I do want to say shout out. I have another one in there that I got from the homie Ryan or Vintage Drips. So shout out to him. But this one I got from the homie Blue. So shout out to Blue if you're watching this man. Thank you so much. He's always been a good guy. Uh, we've done plenty of vintage deals, but on top of that, we have a love for vinyl and tape, so we'll be selling to each other or just give each other things that we think that you know one of us would like. So he gave me the Outcast, so fresh, so clean. Another mix because Ryan gave me the other one. So shout out to them both, honestly. But uh, guys, big Outcast fan, a big Andre 3000 fan. So to get that again, and that's a different version. It's not the same version, which is really cool. This has like the radio mix and the acapella and the dirty version and stuff on there. So. Man, shout out to Blue, I really appreciate it. Um, just the the love in the community that like I've found like for not only vintage here in Iowa, but also like music. Um, it's very rare to find people that, you know, a lot of people here are into like the jazz vinyls or like classic rock and stuff. Uh, but to find people that are not only into, you know, hip hop vinyls and tapes, but also like some of the stuff that I'm into, like 90s rock, um, the alt rock, I guess if you want to say. Uh, it's really cool to find so shout out to blue shout out to Ryan too, man. All you guys are definitely awesome uh, Get into a couple pickups that I had now. This was a, a local Facebook marketplace deal got them each for five bucks um, Now this is getting some older music. I like you know One thing I always got to tell people is you got to have you know kind of an open mindset when it comes to music because there's so much amazing music out there that if you're thinking like maybe I should only listen to hip hop or I'm only into hip hop, man. First of all, if we're into hip hop, you got to think about the samples that a lot of people track. You know, there's a bunch of like old school Motown and you know R&B soul samples that are people would use. Um, but this is one that I got for five bucks. Shout out to the couple that I got this from from Facebook Marketplace. Got this again for five bucks. This is uh, Stevie Wonder's original Music Aquarium One. I mean, you got hits on here like Superstition. Uh, isn't she lovely? I wish. Uh, man, Stevie's a classic. You can't go wrong. I remember growing up listening to Stevie in the household, so uh, you can't go wrong with Stevie. Definitely one of my favorites. And another one of my favorites here, and this is kind of the classic section of vinyls I got. This is another $5 deal that I got. I got David Bowie's Let's Dance. David Bowie, man, such a timeless voice, such an amazing artist. Um, one of my favorite tracks around here from David Bowie, and that's uh, Modern Love. You can't go wrong. Uh, just his his music is just so amazing, especially on vinyl. Uh, for the for the people who listen to vinyl, I don't know why, man, and I think that's why some people are so into it. It's like the certain sound, it's the truest sound that you hear in music. So um, to hear all of this music on vinyl is just really amazing. And speaking of the next thing that I've never heard on vinyl until again, shout out to the homie Ryan. We did a trade. Um, I traded him, I think, some rock tapes, maybe, or some hip-hop tapes or something. Uh, but for a couple vinyls, uh, I don't know where the other one is, but this one was the major one that I got. Michael Jackson's Thriller, original press. Again, can't go wrong. Uh, oh, the opening of the booklet on this is pretty wild. He's got Michael just chilling. Is that a tiger cub? You know, he, he was the original Tiger King. Come on now. Uh, but... I, I just, uh, Michael, man, you can't, just timeless music. Again, grew up listening to him in the house. My mom was a big Michael Jackson fan. Um, man, Thriller beat it. 
Human Nature, PYT, amazing album. That, I mean, obviously, you know, Thriller is one of his biggest songs too, um, and Thriller is one of his biggest, you know, albums. People love it. Uh, it's been, you know, reissued a bunch of times, and just timeless music from Michael, and, you know, definitely sad he passed. Obviously, uh, his music stands, you know, the test of time. Uh, now coming up into a couple of the, I, I would say like the 2010s vinyl, a um, couple of, two of my favorite albums, I should say, from the 2010s, early 2010s, um, and kind of the artists of today. We got Drake's Take Care, front to back, amazing album. Now a lot of people say they put this on when, you know, they're all sad or whatever and everything, but man, you just listen to this album, I mean, Over My Dead Body you start with, amazing track. You get into you know crew love with the weekend um, and take care with Rihanna. Then you go into look what you've done. That's a slept on song from Drake. If you haven't heard that, uh, check it out. I really mess with that song. Uh, and then up next, I got the Target exclusive Good Kid, Mad City from Kendrick. When I say Target exclusive, reason being is you got this crazy again. I'm a sucker for presses. A clear press of this album, man. You can't go wrong. Dude, so sick. Big Kendrick fan. Been a big Kendrick fan since the jump, man. Section 80. Listened to him for a long time. Uh, but Kid, a good Kid Mad City, I feel like, is top 10 albums for me uh, for the decade of 2010. I, I just feel like Kendrick is just on a whole different level. Uh, you look at the people that came in like Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole, and where they put hip-hop and where they're at now with hip-hop, it's pretty crazy that after 10 years, they're all still relevant, they're all still killing it, and, uh, but Kendrick, I mean, Good Kid Mad City, you can't go wrong, Backstreet uh, Freestyle, I mean, uh, Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst, that's like one of my favorite songs ever, can't go wrong. Now, wrapping it up, I saved this best for last uh, because I've been wanting this for a long time, and again, shout out to Jay's, I mean, come on, we know what this is, All Eyes on Me, the double LP vinyl. This is a giant vinyl. Got basically two books. Just so crazy to get. Open this up. Now this is an original press. Again, original press of this would cost, you know, I think 250 up. This is the 2001 digital remaster of it. Uh, sometimes, you know, just a recommendation. I know like a lot of, you know, the vinyl heads and stuff like, like the original presses a lot. Um, but these, you know, remasters for hip hop, you know, for the time being, it's a good like placeholder. So I recommend grabbing them. You can get them a lot cheaper. I think I got that for like 24 bucks, and you still get to listen to the amazing album, um, like Tupac's All Eyes on Me, like Nas's Illmatic. You just can't go wrong. Uh, overall, I gotta say, from my music pickups, man, a uh, bunch of amazing hip hop. Uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller, David Bowie. I can't, it's just it's just amazing pickups and this is all within I picked up a lot of vinyl man I think this was all pretty much July's pickups uh, for vinyl so uh, big shout outs to JC and Hobby they hooked it up as always again if you're in Des Moines go check them out uh, they're over on Southeast 14th I think West Des Moines over on 22nd by the Chuck E. Cheese and then they have one inside Merle Hay Mall uh, vinyls you know toys anything that you can imagine that has to do with hobbies uh, they got it for you go check them out alright you guys so getting into a couple t-shirts that I picked up in July um, I'm working on something here and you guys will see in another video but uh, I'm stashing a lot of these t-shirts right now now if you guys are interested definitely hit me up um, you know make an offer or something but for right now this is all staying with me in the collection um, in the stash I should say and starting off one of my favorite shows growing up got the Animaniacs dude so sick blue you don't see blue t-shirts too often uh, this is from 95 it's got that back hit yakka wacko and uh, dot there can't go wrong the kind of flashlight I love that back a lot too got it off of Depop um, again this is staying in the stash for now I'm starting to work on kind of a stash of t-shirts that uh, you know, maybe we'll see, maybe we'll drop a collection, kind of curated collection coming up. Uh, definitely stay tuned for that. As you guys know, always collecting wrestling, always picking up wrestling. I uh, got this, again from the homie Ryan, there was a, a vintage flea market hosted by Rumors Des Moines. Um, I went to it, picked this up, had this twice now, if you guys remember the thrift haul video from a couple months ago. This DX, I need to find this in my size though, this is a size large. So sick, got the whole gang there. 
Um, I definitely need to find a DX t-shirt that has everybody on there. I'm a big Road Dog fan, Billy Gunn, China, everybody. Uh, but just a classic on a Highland tag too. You can't, it's just amazing. Now wrapping up the stash pickups for the month of July, I gotta show you guys this. As you guys, <laughs> Disney tees, for anybody that's in the vintage community right now, is just exploding. Uh, to the point where, shout out to the homie Chris from 1980 something co. He does a virtual flea. I think it's really cool and amazing for the culture that we're in. Um, every, I think Sunday he does it, so go check it out on his page. Uh, but Heat Broker, another great homie for the culture of vintage, made an amazing sell when he was live in the auction. He sold an all over print genie t-shirt for $6,000 I want to say, which is wild. Um, really cool to see and really great for the culture. Now some people might hate on that, but I'm like, if, if you had a t-shirt and you could sell for six grand, wouldn't you? I mean, that's a car right there. Uh, so Disney tees even before that started to shoot up. It's crazy because the market changes so much. I was talking with Bowie about it. If you look at the market four years ago, Tommy, Nautica, Guess, all these like brands you know, for vintage where the things that were popping made this transition over the past couple years where it went from band tees. Now we're getting into my favorite things, which is wrestling tees. Uh, promo t-shirts, movie promos, TV promos, Disney, anything uh, that has to do with a promotion, snack tees. I mean, people are going nuts for those too. Uh, it's really cool to see and see the prices go up on that. Um, and speaking of, I got this one here. I got the Pocahontas promo t-shirt on that. Hanes Beefy. You can't go wrong. Um, Pocahontas, you know, was a great movie growing up and everything, but it's wild to think like the the market has gone up on Disney so much. And um, I did want to say also shout out to Austin for that. That T-shirt's going in the stash for now. Uh, like I said, I don't know what I'm kind of doing right now with uh, these vintage T-shirts I'm grabbing. A lot of them are just staying in the stash. I'm looking to. Who knows, man? Bowie and I have been talking about it. We'll have to see in the future. Stay tuned. Stay connected. Follow me on Instagram at Rise Again Vintage. Um, but. I'm really excited to start picking up some of these t-shirts, but that's my monthly pickups, man, for pretty much July. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm trying something new here by dropping this on IGTV. Um, let, me guys, you know, let me know if you guys like this. Should I keep the monthly pickups on IG and then post everything else on YouTube? Or do you guys like it better on YouTube? Let me know. Um, no matter what, man, follow me on Instagram at Rise Again Vintage. You can follow anything media related for Rise Again on on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, at Rise Again Create. And then uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, like you said, I, the Vintage Battle uh, is coming up this Monday. So you know, you're gonna wanna subscribe, turn on your notification bell, uh, so you can stay alert on anything I'm posting on there. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support um, over the past few months. And I can't wait to bring more content for you guys. Until then, my name is Phoenix, and we'll see you in the next one.